Good evening, and welcome to the Warband NA stream. I am E-Man, and I will be your host tonight. And I am joined by none other than King Blacktide of the Midnight Watchmen as your co-host. Hi there, Blacktide. How are you doing tonight? Hello, E-Man. I'm doing very well, thank you. Uh, what about yourself? I am doing splendid, and I'm very excited about the match tonight. 
because it seems like it's going to be a close one. It is none other than WK versus Valiant. These guys are in the upper echelon of the tier list of teams in the tournament. And um, I think it's going to be really close, Black Tide. I certainly will be. Both uh, relatively old teams with a multitude of skilled players to choose from in their repertoire of skilled players. Repertoire of skilled players. In fact, we can speak a little about that roster. Or actually, you can, because your team didn't, didn't you guys, the Midnight Watchmen, play? Um, We've played both of these clans so far. We played WK last week and beat them. We played Bally in, in week one and lost to them. Very unfortunate. But uh, Balian seemed to have managed to reel in Angus Berger from uh, his long vacation, it seems. A fairly good player, i got to say. Quite a, a carry cab as well. Angus Berger? What the heck? Angus Berger. I know. <laughs> I don't see him on the list. What is he also known as? Um, Balian veteran Angus Berger. Oh, veteran Angus Berger. Well, he might yeah. not be represented tonight, because I don't see him on there. You don't, you don't see him on the roster? Or I must be blind. You, oof, you might be blind. That's always a possibility. Or I could be going. But, um, which of these teams did you have a tougher time facing? What do you feel will have the upper hand on this one? You see, I'm, I'm not entirely sure. You've got uh, WK, who've only lost one match. And that was to, uh, to TMW. You got Balian, who've uh, lost to uh, BKS, I believe, and someone else. I'm sure they lost to someone else. Actually, I think both teams only have one loss to each to their name. Oh, really? Yes. In fact, I can bring up the standings for this team and Black Tide. You should feel proud here because the Midnight Watchmen, the team you represent, all the way up there at the top. Exactly where they should be. <laughs> the humblest man in the UNAC tournament right here. <laughs> but yes, you guys are even above Gladiators with Aviators, a.k.a. Um, my goodness. Formidable Clan. A one of Apis you. Europa, yes. That's the one. So people might be gunning for you. But as you can see, though, on the standing, Valiants and Westlights each have lost once, but they're neck and neck, position-wise. Neck and neck, indeed. And both teams are congregated, and the duel actually is almost underway. You'll probably be expecting uh, PVK from WK. Oh, people are telling you to turn the music down, by the way. Oh, the music is too loud. Uh, okay, that's really what sorry. I'm, what I'm hearing. Guys. But, uh, yeah, PPK probably for, for WK. Formidable duelist. And it looks like it might be the non other than the Balian captain himself. Man well, dog. actually, yes, yes, the duel. We are going to get right into it, folk. The duel is about to start. So these teams can decide who has Matt, who owns, who picks Matt first. Right here, the duel to the death. Both men. A duel to uh, two deaths, I believe. Oh. Got a, got a few deaths gonna happen here. Sword raised, best of three, and the duel is off. Both men, not two-handing, just single-handing it. There's fainting, there's blocking. Actually, I'm not quite sure who is who, but that gentleman in the black hair seems to have a few swings in there. Oh, and he's, he's oh, taking a few as well. Enough, yeah. WK secure the first victory in the duel. The Valiant Captain deciding to uh, opt for a pair of leather gloves to add a, an extra two body armor. Oh, is that allowed? That That's allowed. <laughs> If You're the wolves your, permit uh... it, why not? <laughs> and they're going at it again. He's decided not to opt for the uh, the leather cat. Sorry, the uh, the little cat that you can get. Oh, oh fuck! He bit it once more. No we challenge. Have a victor. We no have... challenge for PPK. Just brushing it off. 
WK, get to select the map, folks. Exciting duel. Wonderful job, PPK157. Schooling that noob. Schooling that noob. Who <laughs> <laughs> said that Malian's done duel? They're goofing off, but now we get to the side map selection. And what will they decide this week? You got uh, the Desert Nine, I believe, is one option. Open Plains, I imagine. Well, well, what is is WK? What are they skilled at? Will they pick an open map or a closed one? Their specialty. What? Where does it lie? Their specialty is supposed to lie in, uh, in cavalry and uh, and lagstro. <laughs> um, so and, and, they, what? They, La what? and lagstro. Lagstro? Lagstra. Fina Lagstra. They're a uh, star archer. Headshot anyone from any map halfway across it. Really? They got really, pinpoint really? accuracy. That guy, yeah. He's a crazy archer. Well, but, we'll uh, both teams are, uh, are fairly eager to go into a, into an open map. Balian, like, preferring to Stay away from gimmicks such as all cav and preferring to add a bit of strategy to their to their gaming. Throwing they, a gimmick in there every once in a mm. while ain't too bad. You throw teams know, up for a loop. I think uh, Mad Dog just likes to prove that strategy can overcome gimmicks from time to time. But both, ah, both but teams the are uh, eager. A gimmick only map. works when it's a surprise. <laughs> Art of War is deception. Well, notably and in, uh, in the in the BIT finals that you commentated on, TMW pulled out the all cav against uh, Balian and beat them on open plains. Part mode. I don't know, but it was uh, all all cav over and over again. <laughs> it's a never-ending gimmick. Well, they are still debating where they want to have their grand old fight for the first set. Meantime, we can just. Which one is it? There we go. <laughs> we can just look at the people we're going to be watching in just a moment. How did you get the king moniker, Black Tie? Just a question. How did how did I become king? Yes. How did you get to be king? Uh, I was appointed by God. Divine right by of kings. By the Lord you know? Himself. Um, one one of them. So you have divine right to be king. Precisely, you know, it's, you, huh. you can't just That's announce odd. yourself Jesus to be king. Jesus called me on my cell phone the other day, and he said... <laughs> oh, he oh said you, other you know Jesus too. The role. No, no, it's a lie. Well, are you Jesus is he's always gossiping, you know. Are you leader of, of the CMW? I, I'm the head of state. I, I leave executive powers with, uh, with Ruin there. Oh, I see, I see. You let you let the peons do the P precise paperwork yeah. and all that. I shouldn't stuff. get my hands dirty. No, no. I just go onto the battlefield. I kill people. Yeah, it's pretty standard stuff for a king. <laughs> but back to the match at hand, folk, and away from Mr. Blacktie's ego. <laughs> um, no, I, I I think we're looking at. at uh, I'd like to one... mention that mm -hmm. I am a little unfamiliar with these clans, but I do know. Mad Dog personally, as well as Calamity, and these got Mad Dog. He occasionally streams, and he's wonderful at it. So, uh, I'm rooting for the guy. I'm rooting <laughs> for his little rag tag, tag team of fighters here. Best WK in battle. You know, I yeah. find it kind of odd because I was looking at the history or uh, in the tournament of matches played, and uh -huh. um, uh -huh. WK beat you last week, right? No, no, no. We beat WK. Okay, you beat WK. But Balian yep. beat you the first week. That's, yeah. It was very close. Very close. However, Balian beat GA, right? I think that's what happened. But no, WK, WK beat GA. WK beat GA, but Balian lost to GA. Yes. Oh, no, no. Balian lost to BKS. My God. We're, we're getting confused. I am getting so confused, actually. <laughs> All I know is they, they when I looked at their history, yeah, so they seem to beat teams. The team they lost to is the team that the other guy beat. So, like, 
it's hard to tell where their skill level is. Um, I, I, oh, oh, just been told. Valoran, bottom, Nords versus Swadia. It Nords has been versus the, uh, Swadia the decided. Valoran. Yeah, or uh, Rat Market, as it is popularly uh, known by AE and the Europeans. Rat Market. Rat Market. Because of the staging area in the back. And the cheese. And the, the cheese. cheese on the table. Rats love that too. This is a great map, though. I yeah, like it's, it because it's, it's a, a closed map. map, and I think I personally find closed maps more exciting because you get so all that I. melee scuffle. Uh, I, I think we're looking at you know Bally in here. They can play closed maps fairly competently, and they can do open maps as well. I think WK strength really only lies with uh, with open maps. They, they struggle a bit on closed maps. They don't quite have the uh, the infantry power. That other clans do, but lying more that on they cavalry. They have good and archers, and um, they, they, they have a, a good, they have a good lagstro. Have... Oh, they have one good player who can arch. <laughs> <laughs> a formidable play. player at that. Okay, but the Valorian out of the closed maps has a whole lot of open space and corners where an archer can get a little trick shot off on someone. I'm assuming though that by uh, by choosing the closed map first. WK must have been practicing on it at some point. You know, seeing as their strength does lie with open maps, you'd have thought they want to uh, get the good advantage in. You know, get to the point where it's like, oh, we only need to win one more round to to have the match in in the bag. So they must have been preparing in uh, some way, shape, or form. A fought out meta game, perhaps. Well, the map is being loaded. I am already seeing. The building tops of Valoran. So, we are almost getting ready to start this, folk. Valiance versus WK. Evenly matched teams. It's going to be an exciting match. Not quite live yet, so we still got a little bit of time. Not quite live. No, I think we'll, uh, we might be seeing... Balian running two cavalry on this. Scott Ray and Angus, both very competent cavalry. And we might see the same from WK, I'm not entirely sure. Running possibly Gelden and Wiley. No, no, no. No cav at all yet. Uh, just Gelden. Just Gelden for WK. Um, I don't think they're alive just yet. Are you, you just know these players so well, you know from their name what they play. Pretty much. I don't think we got streamer. Did we get no. We did. And the minimap is looking fine for me at the moment. Oh, I'm so I can add the minimap. Lauren, where are you? Yes! I do not see uh, the player panels. Okay, there we go. <laughs> we are going right into it, folk. A little technical problems. We still have ugly faces here for every player, but eventually it'll be fixed, and we're going right into it. Balian uh, capturing the alleyways at the moment. WK moving around now, getting closer, trying to trap them in, maybe do something. It's very rare that you see clans do anything before the flag spawns. Valiant controlling the distillery area. Meanwhile, where is WK set out? Uh, Valiant spawn, I think. Oh, WK, WK moving is in actually there. moving in to steal the liquor. They're at uh, a flag point as well. So they just secured themselves a flag point. And now they're seeking Nord versus Swadians. WK pressing the Nord infantryman advantage here, or everyone staring each other down. It, it's probably worth noting that uh, Valiant does not have one infantry it's unit. It's worth noting that Valiant have sent their cav behind! Trying <laughs> to kill WK, but Angus Berger, only one to survive. They lost the cavalryman, and that's that poor decision. Poor decision, because the front of Valiant didn't move in. They might have Certainly seen is. that that Headsh was such a bad charge. I'm sorry? It's headshot straight to dog. 
He seemed looked like he went in with a pair of jab uh like a javelins or something. Got Ray coming in. Oh, couching someone! Perfect! Oh! Angus Burger coming behind too. Mitigating Getting stops WK's in his aggression. Track. Oh, but that was beautiful. Wily Sly jumped out of there and got the horseman from the steps. Valiant still turtling it up, trying to make use of the archer. Gelden coming behind the crossbows. Oh, he's beautiful. Valiant not even noticing what he was doing. They turn far too late. Beer is still trying to get their focus, maybe allowing Gelden more time in which to uh, poke the back line. Valiant, Valiant possibly in a full archer setup. My goodness. Possibly in a set of panic now, though. They've lost their glorious leader and their cavalry. It's just down to their crossbows. But Saxony is 3 on 3 right here. However, where is Valiant's third player? Is there Cavmen? Oh! A team kill. Bit of internal dispute there. Captain Peasant running in. Goodness me, turning back to try to get Gelden, the man who is coming for him on the horse, but no. WK secure the first round. Well, I think WK did a fine showing there. They certainly did. Protected against those cavalry, got rid of them fairly early. Early enough, but Valiant still having faith in this all crossbowmen, all cav setup here. Don't yes, know why. They, were, uh, they, they were trying it the other night in a, in a pickup against uh, TMW. How'd it work out for them? Uh, the map ended in a tie overall. <laughs> you see, the, the idea is that they're supposed to get a, a load of crossfires and you can barely move and you're fairly paranoid, but they, they didn't seem to be able to do that. All their crossbows were sort of in the same place and they just got uh, smashed by the infantry. It's an odd choice, though, from Balian to just stack out the crossbows, considering the new buff that uh, Swadian infantry have had. Reduced prices on pretty much everything. I believe it's an odd choice for a different reason, in that it failed the first time. So now, <laughs> I mean, honestly, it failed the first <laughs> time, so what in the world can they do with that setup? Especially against this infantry man. Oh my god, oh. what a headshot! And that wasn't a headshot. Oh, he dropped? <laughs> yeah, he left the set. Oh, I didn't see a corpse. I was, I thought. <laughs> well, that's unfortunate. But you know, you, you're gonna have a bit of faith instead. in your strategy. You're gonna have a bit of faith in your strategy overall. I mean, yeah. it might just be the way that they acted in that round, the thinking, oh, I can do something different this time. Oh, Don't need Mad to change Dog! It Captain time. Mad Dog got assassinated! Again, first kill. Straight up assassinated! Still, I think this isn't too bad for WK because it happened before and they still are uh... Oh wait, no. This is really bad for Valiant, I'm sorry, because Mad Dog is Valiant's team captain. He certainly is. Without their head, can they do anything? Can the body live on? It, it wasn't all in vain though. Yeah. Blackstro is, uh, is down to half. Oh god. Oh my it. gosh, we have fights going up is everywhere. Bad. WK flanking Valiant. Taking out their leader and then taking out the rest. Oh, this looks bad, bad for him. Oh, the, oh, Unix doesn't see the infantry behind him? Oh, my god. It's pretty much all his health gone. Absolutely brutal. Lack of awareness. WK's front lines pushing up, singling out Angus Burger. He, he's dead. His horse stallion's dead. Balian looks to be dead soon enough. The full brunt of WK is falling upon him, and the archers are falling. They are falling because they're in melee and they're not meant for this role. <laughs> Certainly aren't. Oh my goodness, WK securing the second round against the same strategy, achieving it in the same way. Killing Mad Dog. Cutting off their head. Mad Dog must be thinking about this one now. He's... No, they haven't changed anything up yet. At all. They're going to the same positions. No, no change at all. Is this stubbornness, or are they just... 
they have a plan here that ain't coming to fruition, and they, they do see it working in their heads. Mad Dog doing some scoping. Virus Unix has good view of where the majority of the crew is traveling. Actually, there seems to be a cap fight. Oh my goodness. In the tunnels. In the tunnels of all places. Ah, yeah, they both they ran escaped. away. They didn't have the balls to carry it out. Was anyone injured from that exchange? No. Geldin ran away. He's safe. He realized uh, that the his horse team has can gone go... hit once, I think. They can go kill Mad Dog anyway. <laughs> <laughs> it seems without with when the team's there, or when uh, he rushes in, he's still bold. Still bold. You gotta be bold to win. Hmm. But then there's being too bold. Oh yeah. That usually results in you being dead. I mean, it is always better to be bold than to be wait and be idle. Cause life, life is like a woman, and she falls to the ones who are most, who are boldest and most courageous. You know? No, I don't know. Uh, I screwed the quote up. That's from the prince. Uh -huh. uh -oh, he does uh... say, "If you're a ruler, be bold. If you err yeah, on Mr. one Mr. side, Mr. Or But, um, Master of the Field is spawn. Neither team engaging each other. Spawns actually right on top of where Valiant's distillery is. WK are coming down the hill. Geldon is still in the back. Oh, he's going in the tunnels! He is going for a really long maneuver here. That's going to take a while, and that flag is going up. Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing two Valiant crossbows moving up on the right now. Trying to get into position for a crossfire. Getting hit by the cavalry. Craddock is behind, trying to keep one of Valiant's horsemen at bay. But this looks like a good area. Oh my god, Angus Burger, a great couch on Boobly. Boobly Bear. <laughs> <laughs> a man with a wonderful name. Oh, that single horseman in the back is keeping WK busy. I get the yes. feeling that uh, Balian's got them where they want to be now. Yes, this is exactly an open cross area. Back. Cav keeping the infantrymen engaged. Archer able to shoot in the back line. But still, it isn't going all according to plan because WK are moving on the archers and... Yeah, they've lost the crossfire that they've worked so hard to, uh, to achieve. And Valian have lost their cavalry. The WK infantry one. stand strong. Boobly Bear, barely hanging in there. No, oh, dear. Captain Peasants had enough. He's charging, as is Veteran Jew. Veteran Jew <laughs> getting the first kill. Craddock trying to fight off Peasant on the flag. Gelvin, a beautiful, beautiful run by. I don't oh. know if this is perhaps Mad Dog deciding that Swadian infantry can't stand against Nordic infantry and. Trying something different, but uh, they're just getting steamrolled. And now they are changing something up. They are changing something up. It's They're going to lose the set if they don't. It's not working. All, wow. Just infantry and cavalry now for Balian. Completely abandoned all crossbows. Might be seeking a direct engagement. It took them three rounds to have the perfect setup for their build, and it still <laughs> did not pay off. Mad Dog is looking. Big ol' fight in the center area. Angus Berger initiating it. Lagistro, the gentleman you mentioned, is a good archer. He's actually sitting at four and two. Free to shoot oh. whoever he damn well pleases. Oh my god, Angus Berger stopped. Mad Dog actually alive at this point, but still the last cavalryman alive. Oh, he's trying to poke La Lagistro off the stairs, but that's not working. In fact, his team, meanwhile, is falling apart without any backup, without the cap. Mad Dog turning around. Too late. Too little, too late. He can't even jump the horse across. There's too many men. <laughs> They're chasing him on down. Oh, Mad Dog. Team captain. The weight, the burden of all these failures in this set on his shoulders right now. Oh, my God. And down, down he goes. Down he goes. And the first set, congratulations, it goes to WK. Quite convincingly.
Quite convincingly. Balian fielding yeah, a, a good roster here. I think, you know, very, very well skilled. A uh, bit of diversity they've got there. And they're just not making it work. It's getting destroyed <laughs> as far. That's about as analytical as you can get. They're just getting outskilled each <laughs> time. Well, I think a lot of it was their weird setup for this map. They were forcing that hard. I will they were. Be updating title and score in just a second. Perhaps we'll uh, we'll see a new Balian as Nord's more aggressive, seeking the engagements. There we go. Are we wow. breaking or are we live? I'm thinking we're live. Oh, we are live. Yeah. Oh my goodness, they've already switched and they're already back at it. Hold up, these guys. Eager to, want to get blood. back into the Valiant fight. Wants. There we go, folk. Only the slightest of interruptions and we're right back in it. Valiant's gonna try something else here. What are they gonna go with? Mm -hmm. But they, they, they've got four infantry at the moment, but they're not seeking an engagement, you know, they're, they're just sitting by in a, in a little alleyway, a bit nervous, creeping up now. Still a bit hesitant. Fights still occurring at the distillery area, this open field. I will yeah, say Balian that... Yeah, Valiant just got face down. I've not... Valiant's cavalry have not impressed me so far. They're not making the moves happen. On the opposite side, WK's cab is wrecking havoc. <laughs> and both Their teams... infantry was getting the most kills though. You had Wiley Sly, I think, on uh, 10 and 2. Oh, yes. Last time round. I thought he was like 7 and 2 or something ridiculous. The man Wiley Sly yeah. was putting up a wonderful performance. See him there, ginger-headed. There, the color <laughs> of a warrior. And the flag has spawned in the rat market! A wonderful area in which to fight all, both teams turning around, hauling ass. Actually, WK is leading a vanguard to delay Valiant, and it's working. Angus Berger turning around, seeing the, the wall of men that WK have. The PPK is standing. Unafraid. They are utterly unafraid and they're going for it. Oh, and they're not running unified. right by, getting stopped but still going. Banning now closing in. They're getting a few important kills. I think WK put some. Got a lone man on fighting the on the flag as well. Yeah. Valiant, Captain uh. Pleasant for, for Valiant is just sitting there arching his, his happy little head off. <laughs> But no, he finally gets contested. The gentleman at flag overwhelmed Valiant's attempt to stop him. And I don't even think it matters if Valiant survives because I think WK will win on flag here. Yeah. Geldin! Geldin, a true hero here, <laughs> fighting off men with no health. Sheer willpower is keeping this man alive. Oh! Oh, oh my god, and then his teammate! <laughs> Certainly not flag. Lagstro is keeping him alive. Kills are all well and good, but if the flag goes up... Oh! Wow, Black getting a clutch kill! Now Robert the Bruce! Can he unite the Irishman? WK Star Infantry versus a Captain. The Captain goes down. Oh! Oh, Wily Sly, the last man alive! Black's gone. 15 seconds, seconds to... WK will win on flag if he does not get the kill. Can he kill the 7-2 and two player? Wily Sly's a tremendous... Uh, Melee fighter, no! I think Black only just realized that oh like, his flag oh wasn't at the top. Oh my god, in the last few seconds, Wily Sly breaks his shield, immediately kicks him, and in the stun, slices him. Oh my goodness. Yeah, Wily I don't think Sly the... to pro. Black wasn't, uh, he, he wasn't playing that quite right. I think he might have thought he was still a, a Spartan. 
That's why the flag was all the way up there. Finally, it have won. <laughs> Blank was just holding off. That was exciting, though. It came down to the last last person. He was having a bit of a, a bit of an identity crisis. Wow. What did now? What did Valiant do wrong there? On this, they started this set wrong. They've lost the first round here. But why? I thought they had a good. They had a good like. They jumped WK well. They got some guys in the alley cut off. Yeah, but you know you had that team kill. Uh, I think it was Black killed Juve. Oh yeah. Which wasn't good. You know when when you when you're fighting on such. Edgy terms. A team kill really does matter. Banning's still not making it work. Seems like they're not winning the melee engagements either. Yeah, WK hanging on uh, quite quite a bit every time. It's, it's no uh, no easy feat to take one out. Wily Sly taking his pimp armor and leading his team. Boosting morale, <laughs> sitting at three and zero. This this cockiness might cost oh. him his life. Oh, in the background, there's a horse dog. fight occurring. Mad dog got shot. Lost half his head. Oh, oh, beautiful shot. Oh, Magistro, wonderful archer, removed from the fight. The Balian captain is down. But Balian are. Oh my goodness, they are dogpiling the WK group by oh. the house. And they're doing pretty good here. This is actually really working out. Craddock's the last survivor in the tiny, tiny corner. He's still getting killed! <laughs> got a, they got a couple of uh, early range kills there. Taking out Lagstro and Mad Dog got a, an axe throw and someone else. Oh, so perhaps changing it up, taking a few more, uh, a few more range units. So Balian was able to diminish WK's numbers with some good archery and throwing a... Oh yeah. And then they swept in and cleaned them up. That's what they gotta do. They really needed that one. Because they, they've been getting swept right now. This might boost them back. Boost their confidence levels back, but... Wily Sly's still going in here. He lost some money. But he picked himself up a nice little helmet. Valiant rushing headlong, ignoring Sly, going for the archers. Oh, Gelvin coming from behind, <laughs> getting nice, ooh, getting the captain, a straight assassination, Virus, getting retribution for his leader, and wow. oh, WK are slicing him down, we have Peasant, trying to help Virus here, give him some support, but no, there are too many, and they are slowly encroaching upon his position, Angus Burger coming with the save, oh my god, saving Peasant, oh. Virus getting a kill, the teamwork, Krata coming in, but too late, they had the numbers, all they had to do was push as a unit. Peasant's still getting some great shots off. Ah, oh, they're finally rushing him. Virus still trying to save him, knowing Peasant's a secret. Angus! Angus coming in, getting some speed. Oh, oh. beautiful kill. Beautiful, getting a kill right by the well. Did, I think Angus just jumped up and stabbed Blagastro on the stairs. <laughs> That's a tough one to do. Not much damage, though, given the angle. But he's disrupting. Nah. He's disrupting Kratok. Is getting some cool. stuns with the overhead. Has his bleed. Oh, oh, wow! Oh. Good play from Angus. He was he was pretty clumsy in the early round. He was just getting in people's way. He killed Scott Ray's horse. A great sin, but uh, he he managed to redeem himself, I think, by the end of that round. Angus Burger, yes, redeeming himself and then some. He, they, Balian was down three to five there. Maybe three to six. Let's exaggerate and make it more than it was. <laughs> Great victory. It was epic, about it. That was wonderful teamwork using that was just one infantryman, one archer, and one cav player working together in tandem. It was friggin' poetry, man. So no. Valiant still WK exists. changing it up. They're doing something pretty pretty bold here. Bolder than anything we've here? seen in this match. They're going all the way around through uh, Balian spawn. Balian's promptly running away. And they've just switched places. <laughs> WK now holding the alleyway that Balian uh, 
has taken our liking to so far. There's not been too much success for Valiant in this corner, though. Yeah, I know. Maybe they'll have a bit more luck uh, charging it. <laughs> we have a few Valiant players up front. Mad Dog is actually no longer a horseman. I guess he found too much difficulty or too many quick deaths on that. Oh, my peasant just took a shot. Half health, pretty much already. That's not going to be good for them. Yeah, maybe Mad Fidel Dog just wants to lead his men from the front. <laughs> Filling that tree full of more wood. And both of these teams just staring at each other, maybe hoping for a cavern gauge. And I think way off in the distance there is a cavern gauge on the map. Better cat like and mouse, it seems. Ch chasing someone in the tunnels, but no, they backed off. Though there is another Balian at the uh, the WK sp Sorry, yes, at the Balian spawn, right? Yes, he's coming all the way from behind! He's turning the corner! Mad Dog calling for the initiation! Calamity running in, but Angus right behind! Oh! Not getting Could've got a kill there. Calamity doing more than he did, honestly. He's just kind of jumping and rearing his horse oh. and scaring people. I don't know what he was doing. His horse w is confused. <laughs> oh, WK's was... archer's doing a lot of work there. Seemed to me he targeted the wrong people. He was going for infantrymen when he should have been going for archers. But yes, and now Scott dies too. Valiant's invested a lot in that engagement, but just got nothing out of it. Not not rewarded in the least, no. You know, you you got the the WK infantry just fitted out with all pikes. You know, the 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 things cost like two hundred and seventy. You know, anyone can get one. You can get one for the entire bloody team if you want. And the the Balian cab just not being able to get past that, just getting stopped at pretty much every every turn. Stopped and then shot up, headshot most of the time. Oh! Oh my goodness! Oh! How did that happened. Oh my God! Robert the Bruce. He was not paying attention. My God! Did he? Was Angus on his horse? He was on his horse. Didn't uh. see the guys upstairs. Oh, he got two arrows in him? One in the head. In the end. Just what finished him off. Uh, this is not looking good. A bad start. Hello? 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 Oh, no, I, I just kicked my mic. <laughs> <laughs> I know, weird. <laughs> I'm sorry. But it's a bad start for Balian. Certainly a bad start. Down a cavalry. Oh my god, look at Balian looking this way, but look at where WK is actually coming. Mad Dog sounding the oh. alarm! <laughs> Guys, there is a here. scared man. That, that man must be scared. We're calling the retreat. Up. Cap coming That's behind Balian. Tactical retreat! Oh my oh. god, they got so much Cap coming at them, but they didn't do anything! They didn't, didn't do capitalize. Thing, but they killed. Oh, down goes Juvie. Oh, Robert the Bruce getting amazing headshot after headshot. However, Gelvin gets it. They take him down. Uh, Wily Sly is like he wanted to attack Robert. I don't even know why. <laughs> <laughs> but the things that happen. Mad Dog is going. Oh my God, he's going mad mode now. Trying to take out their star infantrymen one on one. Switching oh. off, fighting Kradok and Wily, getting overwhelmed. Unix taking PPK down. Mad Dog is now in a terrible position, completely overwhelmed from both sides. But there is still a fight for flag. Glimmer of hope. Oh. Alien demoralized now, they've lost their leader. But he did distract them. He did leave them there. He was doing something. There was a goal in his mind with oh. death. Oh, it seems like it was worth it. Oh, no. Oh, no. no His sacrifice was in vain. West Knight's looking to secure this set as well. One more round. And then they own the set completely. On both, as both Swadians and as Norths. Yeah, I mean, if you just look at WK now, 
you know, you got several of them in, in Bergendines and everything, you know, those things cost 1,300 gold or so. You know, you can get those in the second round if you do good. Take some so I, I, I don't think that... Uh, Take someone down like that. It certainly does. Amazing armor. I just don't think the Balian played it smart as Swadia. They could have got a couple more rounds as Swadia, but uh, they were adamant to stick with their tactic. Oh, you we're looking at the gold lead is too large. Mad Dog doesn't I think, think it so. Is. He's going right at it, ah! hoping for the Cav charge calamity. Looking to see where he gets the Angus. Oh, Cav oh. jumping everyone. Geldon taking down peasant. The captain's down. Up in multiple different area. Angus Berger is getting some nice kills, but he gets killed himself. WK just overwhelming Balian in these fights. Spin out skills. I played in every way. The gold differential by this point is far too high for this final round. And WK easily take it. Looking pretty grim for Balian right now, folks. Yeah, Balian's gonna be going into the next next map knowing that they've pretty much got to eight oh it. You know they can they can afford one loss, two, it's you've got to draw, three and and they're out. You know, that that's their game over. Oh, and looks like we're switching server, hey man. Oh, they're switching the server. Uh, a few complaints about lag apparently. Maybe not, not Magstro, but the uh, chief culprit so here. So. <laughs> I'm sure a few people could complain about Lagstro, but Wow. A demoralizing set for Balian here. Not certainly is optimally. The map we're looking at right now is the one that I imagine Balian will be taking. So right now, we are setting up the next set, the next map is being selected, and we are switching servers, folks. Because the lag is getting Balian killed. Straight up. Too much lag. Too much lag. Um... Poor Balian. Poor. Poor Balian. Balian. Well, I was expecting a much closer matchup, I gotta say. I did, given their track, their their history in the tournament, it seemed like this was gonna be a really, really close match. But what can we attribute uh, Balian's failure to? Poor decisions, as far as the compositions go, as uh, Swadia. It was an edgy tech. It was new. <laughs> it was innovative. Uh, but it was bad. And it, it was didn't unsuccessful. Work. <laughs> <laughs> Innovative, but a failure. I, I Just agree. Not, with not that. a practical tank. It, I would say from watching these two sets is that Valiant seem rather headstrong in, I don't know, well, in a bad way. Is there a good way to be headstrong? But they pursued <laughs> their archer strategy all the way to the bitter end of the set. They switched it up at the end, but by then it was too late. And then in the next one, yeah. um, they did a lot of um, charging strategies, right? Relying on the calf to come in the back, get some kills, Mad Dog leading the charge. But they did that a few times, and every single time it seemed like they were throwing themselves into a chasm or something and just never came back out of it. Yeah, the Balian camp were just getting entered by WK or Pikes that uh, Balian simply didn't have when they were playing Swadia. Uh, so yeah, Balian Cav, the two Balian Cav not making anything work really, just dying in the way most of the time. Valiant Balian Cav, but not effective. <laughs> not effective. For for a round or two there, Angus Sir Angus was doing really great work. Oh yeah, he he had one good round. Um and he didn't get any kills after that. As opposed I to mean, someone like Geldon who was doing good every round. He was doing good. I think that maybe Balian having two Cav clonked it up a bit, you know, just getting in the way of one another. Could have done with the extra infantry. I mean, Angus is a potent infantry. I wouldn't have, uh, I wouldn't have dismissed putting him on infantry. Putting who on infantry? Uh, Balian. Uh, say Balian. I didn't mean Balian. 
Oh, yeah, I'm already right. there, man. Um, New... but... Oh, you're already there? I meant there? Uh, Angus I could have played as a... Uh... <laughs> I'm behind the curve, I'm straight. joining. <clears throat> Alright, folk, this is going to resume soon enough. We'll get to see the conclusion. Can Valiant group it together and bring back an AO? Or will they fall to the superior work by WK? Have the decided map yet? Has the map been decided? Maybe if we join and we see the oh wait, what map <laughs> it is. I, I'm think I'm thinking it's this map. I'm thinking. Uh, yeah, I suppose you might be able to describe it as a Balian favorite. This is a comfort map for Balian. I, I'd pick. say so. Well, I am loading. Every time I've seen planes, them play, they usually planes. open planes. You know, I had a neat discussion with Raid about this map, and personally, I really like it, and I like his idea behind it, because he says it's the most balanced map because it is random. I know that sounds weird, but... No, th no this, is, this isn't random planes, this is just open planes. Yeah, doesn't it change and vary, like, every time nope. you load it? And uh, You see, that they're two different maps. Uh, pe essentially, people were like, you know, we got tired of this completely random element. Like, you know, it can be completely unbalanced, you can have someone on a really good spawn, and you can't do anything about it. So they were like, okay, let's make an open map, and let's make it so you know what it looks like, <laughs> rather than uh, going into it completely unawares. And, uh, and thus came open planes, as opposed to random planes. I kind of find that exciting that a team has to rise up and, you know more about their teamwork on the map, but then again, you could have a really weird spawn. But yeah, I thought yeah, most teams like, cycle the map if it seems, un, you know, it seems a bit too... No, 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 no. They uh, they cycle the map if it has a, uh, a cliff texture. It's quite difficult to get a map without a cliff texture. So you're sat there for about five minutes flicking between maps, and then you have to go instantly live, unless the team that picked the map doesn't like it. Ah, so, you know, they can... They can just keep re-rolling three times, I believe, until they find a map that they would like. And it's, I, I get it now, it's also, it seems hard to be able to tell how, a, how balanced a random map would be just from holding the camera for like 20 seconds around and looking at it, versus how it actually plays out. And then huh. you go, okay, yeah, that's monst, but, but you know, you've got the someone... But this one right? This is no, the... no, this is the open one. This is just... It is supposed to be uh, fairly even, it's quite equidistant from the central point, which is a bit elevated. Got a nice rock there. You stick an archer there; they can just run round. Really fun. <clears throat> All right. Well, teams are still they're in the server. We're about to get going, but I would like to take a moment here to mention that the music you hear from the stream is given to us or used by found on the website called Incompetech.com, performed by a man named Kevin McLeod. His music is free and royalty free. He just, he wants everyone to hear it. All he wants is credit and we are giving credit to the man. So thank you, Kevin McLeod, for your music. And yeah, thanks, Kev. <laughs> thank you, Kev. We appreciate what you do. So, anyway, we are back to talking about the game. We are certainly back. So yeah, that, that's essentially the, the history, the reason behind Open Plains. It's an entirely extra map. Uh, Tail Worlds couldn't be bothered to get off their asses and do it themselves, so uh, the community decided to do it instead. No idea who made it. Who made Open Plains? I have no idea. I, maybe someone in the chat knows. I don't think it took them too long. <laughs> Uh, yeah, a lot that. of a lot of thought goes into making these well, maps, you know. Just for visual, just for visuals, so you can see what we're talking about. This is open plane. Now, aside from the decision making, and do I put this tree over here or over there? The tree placement I, is very important for archers. Really? There's really? a little mound in the center too. I, I I once played in a scrim. You know, trees are very important. I I was played in a scrim. I decided to try and jump into a tree. You know, try and rest there. I got stuck in the tree. 
I died as a result of that. Did you become part of the tree and did the tree absorb I got, I got, I couldn't move. Um, my team said, hang on Black Tide, we'll stay with you, we'll defend you. The flag popped up, they ran away, they left me. Um, I here, died. Folks. Trees OP. We gotta watch out for them in this Trees are important, match. you know, they can win or lose you a match. But uh, it's confirmed, we are open planesing it. And we are going uh, Sarnids and Vegas. Possibly live. Possibly live. I want verification. Hoping to see Valiant bring out something. All Cav, do it. Show us. It's what they're going for. We okay. now have streamer. Yes, we have streamer. We're almost getting the sub. What this map is just called Open Plane, right? It's list here. That's. I don't think it's on the image thing. Oh, we have no map for it. Well, no need for a map, folks. No need. Yeah, it is pretty open. You can see everything. I can see it. <laughs> I can see everything. Uh, Valiants. You have to update this. Okay. Now it is. And we are right back in it, folks. The continuation of the match. We have WK taking control of the mound. WK having a bit more of an even spread than Balian. What's that? Three, three archers, two infantry, and two cavalry. Balian will be looking to find the, the optimal time to strike that, that clump of infantry and archers. They're just their cavalry. circling all around. Well, actually, Strike. the map is kind of useful now that I'm kind of missing it right now, but... <laughs> I did just uh, throw a random map on there, you know, it's just, it's just blobs <laughs> moving around. There has to be some open, let me just make sure folks, <laughs> that we have something we can use here real quick. Uh, maybe automatic will give us a... I don't know, it's kind of an open plane, because I really would like the map. <laughs> oh. Ah, flags have spawned up. WK is moving for the flags. WK Valiant. are moving in unison. Look at this. They have a little like they're like a little geese formation, you know? Flying um, geese, yeah. sort of. Well, you you've got the Balian cavalry just being vultures, you know. If they split up, those archers oh, are just going my down. <laughs> they're coming oh. down. They have to stop. Oh, oh my God! WK getting pecked at. Two the archers down. Both sides tearing at their skin. That, that's WK's range capacity out. Oh, that's the first pass. Valiant are getting gathering together. Oh my god, it's like watching sharks eat, dude. <laughs> the ground is frothing with blood. Meanwhile, Valiant even, like, WK arrive with a fraction of their contingent, and Valiant's already there. Oh my god, WK getting swept. Oh no! Oof. Gelden doing a great drive-by! Peasant got caught on his teammate. Beer, still alive, still trying to contest the flag. Getting back up from Gelden! Gelden coming in and doing the right things at the right time! Oh, oh my goodness! Valiant, Another they need to get out of there! They just need to get out of there Oof. and then do another rush. Get some momentum, get it back together. Oh, yeah. Yes. Three on three now. Surprisingly, WK is bringing it back. WK has oh, the flag Gelden advantage. Fell. He finally lost his horse. He wasn't helping in the same capacity that he used to. And WK almost. Fear can hold back. out. Nah, nah, no. That was surprising. That was WK managed to turtle it. Super, that, that great infantry work combined with that cab backup. But it wasn't enough. Can't kill all the horsemen. Yeah, I think I think Balian timed that that charge quite quite right there. You know, took out two two archers pretty much instantly, and the rest just fell apart. Though uh, WK did commendably manage to to pull the, put themselves back together a bit. Commendable performance indeed. But oh, ba Balian, all cab again, one archer, one, one archer. solitary archer. WK have three in the cab of themselves, but... The 
This mound seems very popular, Black Tide. Oh yeah, it's, it's a good place. Cab have to rush you uphill. A very small hill, but any obstruction helps. <laughs> I mean, heck, there's only what? Some trees and a rock. <laughs> PPK hugging that rock. And everyone just kind of waiting for Master of the Spawn, hoping to catch some someone in the distance with a good archer shot, but I don't see a lot going to happen here early on. Nah, just Valiant probably just wait until flag spawn and then uh, try and time their charge right again. Now, Valiant can't really afford to screw anything up now. You know, they're, they're down. On, it's 8 to 2, 8 to, eight to 3 now. Oh my goodness, I just realized. They, they lose a couple of rounds and they're out. How good is your memory, Black Tide? What is the real score? Uh, I think it's 8-3. Eight 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 three. Three. Eight three. That is the moment for you guys to rise up and be heroes and tell us what the real score is. For verification, the master of the field is spawned. <laughs> Right where WKR. Hmm, this is gonna be a tough one for Valiant. They kind of have a half-assed engagement. Oh, Angus, not caring. He has that hard <laughs> charger horse. Or I'm sorry, what is that? What is that horse called? That they're uh, step, step horse. Yes. An unkillable horse, practically. But the men on top, easily killable. Angus goes down because he was stopped. Yeah, those, those bamboo spears are great for stopping horses, but. They're not going to kill anything. WK are severely undermanned here, actually. Valiant were Valiant. mopping up, Gelden in the back, and now they're all at the flag once more. Beer having a tough time trying to rear that horse with so much armor on it. It can barely get through <laughs> the plate mail. And he goes down. Uh, PPK, good the attempt last man, from Beer. dying next to the rock that he was hugging. Oh no! No! Mut mutiny in the Valiants. Mercenaries overthrowing their captain. <laughs> Virus taking a moment in that chaotic scuffle to assassinate his dear leader. Now he's usurped control of Valiant. So Valiant doing a great job. Great job here. Well, they, they can't afford anything less than doing great at this stage. It's always nice to have a, a map behind you, you know you've won, you know you've got the advantage. Just kind of keeping a view of all the action going around. <laughs> it's like watching an ant hill after someone's kicked it and trying to focus on a single <laughs> ant. It's pretty friggin' hard. Yeah, uh, WK sort of protectively circling around their uh, their infantry mass, taking a f uh, beefing out their uh, their cavalry capacity though as well. Taking a beefing because Angus is wrecking them. Is that what you're? <laughs> <laughs> um, WK still holding out on the hill. Why don't they counter have more? A uh, pardon? Uh, do do they also get horses with amazing armor as um Valiant have? Uh, a a Sarnid calf. Yes. Yeah, uh, it, it's a bit more expensive though. It's it's one thousand eight hundred and ten or something. So uh, they they have to get a couple kills at the moment. You know, the most kills they got is Geld, and he's got two. He's died twice, so uh, he's having to rebuy all his stuff. Without them winning a couple of rounds, they're not going to get heavy horses. Well, I'm just, I'm wondering what WK are thinking about here because they get dogpiled on and it's not. It's not much they can do about it, but the flag is up. I suppose you might call it in uh, WK's favor, they don't have much, much to go. WK claiming it again, hoping it's not a a repeat of the last round and see this is the problem with the WK Valiant are so mobile they're able to poke out oh my goodness 
they're able to kill the cab on the outskirts by grouping up on them and then they take the flag or in this case they're just oh my god they're taking swipe and swipe and swipe at those poor individuals trying to hold up a chili's a chills the fourth dying leaving his legacy on to a chills the fifth <laughs> calamity going down while while he's sly on a horse I don't know if he's been that useful there. He's known for his. I've seen him in his infantry position, but not there. He's not doing too good there. A flawless round for Ballion, though. No mistakes made. Swept them! Perfectly executed. And, uh, the, the cavalry and there we improving go. their armor even more. All cab. All cab. They realized that ain't working. Strategizing is useless. There's no meta, there's just skill. I disagree with that comment. Strategizing <laughs> is useless. Yeah, it's completely useless. People come up with these great <laughs> ideas and then they realize they don't work, so they make up something on the fly and... Nah, it all comes down to skill at the end of the day. On this map? Is that what you're saying? Danny map, man. Just charge in, that's my policy. Charge in, fight them head on. If you fail to wins. plan, you plan to fail. So... I disagree. I think I think Mad Dog is overseeing this all cab strategy. I think they kept rocking it because it kept working against WK's turtling on the hill idea. Problem that uh, Balian's got here though is in this cab on cab battle, their heavy horses probably aren't going to do them much good. Um, they don't have the maneuverability of the Serenade horses. So if they get stuck, then they're a bit buggered. WK getting the first kill here. I think kills from now on will come few and far between because everyone is so mobile. Look, look at that. Look at all the health of the WK players. You know, they've got three guys who are pretty much on half health. They, they're pretty badly damaged. Balian... They have a few injuries oh. of their own. Oh, Ray's gone down. Losing his sacred horse. Coming. Oh my god. Mad, Mad Dog, Dog uh, gets TK'd and then he TK's, just spreading it. Mad Dog blocking Juvie's horse. Mad Dog going down. Oh my goodness. WK showing wonderful, impeccable horsemanship. My goodness. Oh, and Peasant swinging away. Swinging away, but too little, too late, sir. Death comes to you. It comes to us all. And a flawless round for WK instead this time. Quid wow. pro quo. And no heavy cab for Balian anymore. They lost too much. <laughs> the money's money run them. out. The treasury is empty. Ow. Mad Dog well, obviously that decided. To... That was brilliant by <laughs> WK. Because the horses are unkillable, but the men on top, they aren't. So if you go horsemen, you're more likely to get catch the guy on the horse versus if you're an infantryman. Yeah. You gotta you gotta fight the horse first. But they're, they're riding around with these big heavy horses. You know, they're great against infantry, but against other cav, you know, you, you've got the uh, maneuverability disadvantage as well. So you can't really move in the same way. You can't move as quickly. You can just be outrun and just constantly be annoyed by people with javelins on horses. Uh, you're saying that the chargers are slow, is that? I'm saying the chargers are slow and they don't really have the uh, maneuverability of the other horses. So that's how so they can't turn. swept them. Yeah. Oh my god. Oh, Scott Ray. beautiful. Mad Dog cannot finish- Oh my god! <laughs> oh. Mad Dog tries to kill Gelden but gets killed himself! Throwing his life away! Oh my goodness. That was no momentum from Gelden too, that's just like... That's wonderful couching! So Mad Dog's already... Uh, sorry, Banyan's already sacrificed one round to WK. He can't Captain. afford many more. Captain Peasant is shooting, he's gonna be out of arrows eventually. He's shooting everything, anything that moves. <laughs> trying to kill horsemen. So is the Shields of Forth. So that, that's what Balian's got. Two rounds that they can lose. If they lose one round here, 
then I believe it's a draw. Guaranteed draw for WK. Let's hope that Valiant can still pull this off. They're down two players though, and now they're congregating on the hill because they are on the defensive. And uh no no oh WK coming oh. at peasant! Oh my goodness! Juvie they his staunch defender. Him. Oh but he knows oh. how to use a sword. Veteran Juve doing great back up there, stopping a horse, and then Peasant angry at getting stabbed. He comes in there. Oh, yes, he's dodging left and right. Oh, Juvie getting and taken out by Gelden. Oh my god, Gelden! Gelden! And down goes Black. Thick. Simply. Stick. West Knights have secured a tie, round wise, right? I believe so. Valian can only achieve uh, a possible five more rounds. So yeah. But they've definitely got a tie. If Valian loses one more round, they have a surefire defeat, so... Indeed. Hmm. WK undaunted. Now WK have nice horses. Look, they got charged. <laughs> they built up the money for them. Oh, I think no, their no, no. Look cool That's too. Lagstro, uh. I think Lagstro stole one from, oh, uh, that from the is? Vegas. Yep. Oh, that's brilliant. He's a that's horse thief. Lagstro and Gelden both stole them. Let's see. Let's follow important players here. Both teams very wary of each other. Ooh, Wiley, Sly, and Veer seem to be catching Scott Ray now, but they give it up. They give up the Scott Ray's a very, uh, he's a very ballsy player with his darts. He likes to get up close, torment the enemy a bit. Are any of these horsemen rocking throwing spears or throwing items? To throw from the yep, horse? Scott Ray. Scott Ray's got himself, well, I don't know if that javelin, I think the pack of javelins on his back. Throwing spears as well. Some sort of projectile. And who will start it off? The archers. The horsemen don't seem very afraid of the archers. Ah, <laughs> uh, <laughs> this guy. He he's a thing. He thinks he's a joker, doesn't he? Oh, uh, we have comedians. Yes. And everyone's still. Oh wait, no, no. I think Wiley Spear sees an opportunity here. He sees congregated. Oh. Oh. Unix just missed oh. out. Horses, yes, Catch. fight! Scott Ray and Wiley staring each other down! Wiley Unix abandoning Scott Ray. Smart move, but by then Scott Ray had gotten away. They were gonna make it oh. really personal, and it seals the fourth. That's an archer, right? Yes, I see his corpse in the background there by the tree. Distracting the cavalry and then hitting the archers. Wise move. Smart. That was very smart by Valiant. Now it's own archer is coming under attack. For that tree. Behind, behind peasant, behind peasant. Oh, oh my good. Peasant. Even the horse went down. Gelden the horse, that's who it was. Oh, oh, but he kills a man. I can get back on a horse. Oh, but this one dies too. I and guess I believe we're another. looking at a valiant defeat. After this, Wiley. it's all about round difference. Wiley and Gelden are now both infantrymen again. No, Gelbin getting on everyone's horse. He doesn't care. If it's equestrian, he rides it. Oh my god. Veteran Jews trying desperately. Oh no. Oh no. WK securing a victory through rounds right here. Indeed. And if they win the next one, next ma uh, round, it's, they secure it through sets, quite simply. WK managing to uh, turn things around. We're going all cav, switching it up a bit. Something that Mad Dog uh, hasn't done at all, whatsoever. It seems throughout most of the match. What hasn't he done? Uh, 
He hasn't switched anything up really, has he? Mad Dog. I mean, he's, he's lost the past three sets doing the same stat. Um, sorry, tactic. And. You know, he's just been losing. He hasn't Note changed anything at all. Note that WK adjusted their strategy. Precise. And in turn, Valiant has not responded with the change from. Adaptability. Flexibility. Very important things to have. Crucial things to have. Oh, a Chili's! Some cover is what you need. <laughs> that tree is using that tree for all he can. Mad Dog! Oh. Stabbed in the back. Oh my god. Running right through his kidneys at the slow death. Never hit a man in the kidneys. Terrible I think that, uh, after last week, you know, people were questioning whether or not WK's cam was quite up to scratch. They lost uh, all cam against uh, TMW on random planes. They've confirmed that they do have good glory, it seems. Just not quite as good as TMW's. But certainly better than Cam. No, <laughs> certainly course. better than Valiant's. Is any team as good as TMW? I can't name one. Many who want to be and aspire. My goodness. Black is now really just prolonging the inevitable. You know, this looks like. Like something out of like the Magnificent Seven or something, you know? All these horses coming around, running on a field. Just look at all the armor that W has managed to get there. That that, that expensive <laughs> 1,400 armor. He's crisscrossing and making them run into each other. Just going in circles too, because that's all I'm doing with the mouse, rotating. Oh, he's running wild and free, my goodness. I don't know if the horse even knows it's being chased, it's just kind of frolicking in the field. Oh, now it knows. Oh, yeah. The cold taste of steel, you can't ignore that. Oh, actually. So, the round's secured. The scent goes to WK. Okay. It's the Teams third one they've connected. switching sides. Pressing the wrong button. There we go. So we are on a switch once more. WK coming back from quite a deficit there. Indeed. Yeah, pre zero down. And they hit back. They changed it up. They it, realized that you can't strategize in this map. Can't strategize. You can't strategize. Just go old cav. Can't be a good gimmick. It's it's also noteworthy that they switched after Valiant was rich on their horses, right? So like, yeah. they were nigh unkillable, but WK smoked them at Cav. Ran circles around them. And I think we're going live once again. It is Hart and Valiant team going up against WK, fighting for the rounds. WK will need them to stay on par with everyone else. Round difference is important if you want to uh, to look pretty hot and stay up there in the rankings. Yes, victory has is completely out of reach for them. However, you know, for the bigger picture to get to the playoffs and whatnot, securing rounds, they got to get a few here. And has it started? Are they live? I believe so. Oh, believe right. We are we're live. going right back in it. We're looking at uh, WK. You need your streamer status. Oh, yeah, I don't have it. I'm so <laughs> <laughs> oh. There we go. Just in time. And yeah. just see in Scott time Ray. to see Scott Ray die. Valiant adding an extra archer to their repertoire. Uh, dropping Mad Dog as Cav going to Archer now. And WK hey. returning to their original strat. 
Oh my god, Kelton going oh. straight for Mad Dog. Oh, Mad Dog, no shield, no cover, no friends, no hope. Dead. Seems like every single class Mad Dog has, has tried. He's trying a few, he's trying them all. It ain't really <laughs> working out for the man. Brings a tear to my eye, he's trying. Oh uh, dear. Yeah, he hasn't performed very well, really, has he? I haven't seen him no. get that many kills. Gelden, on the other hand, that's a man who knows how to get kills. And WK are controlling the hill again, except this time it's working out for them. In fact, they're controlling it so well that Wily and PPK are just kind of like lackadaisically just standing there. Their weapons are not <laughs> even at their side. They're just kind of chilling, peering out over the hill. I think this round might go to flag, actually. Or I always mess this up. There. And West Knights secure another round. Indeed. I think it's hitting. It's hitting Valiant's pretty deep here. Yeah, it can't be good, you know, going into a match like that, the the hype everyone's saying, oh, oh it's going to be a close match, it's going to be a good one to watch, uh, and and then they flop quite horrendously. I wouldn't like to be in their, uh, in their ventrilo right now. There's got to be an icy edge to pretty much everything everyone says. Well, from what I read, because I try to keep informed by reading the, the UNAC power ranking thread and the uh, UNAC... Um, oh. You're a learned man. Projection thread, yes. On the Tail Worlds forum, folks, in uh, the UNAC board, where you can learn and post about all this stuff and be part of this. Uh, but I was looking through some um, thoughts about the teams, and people had been saying that Valians were slipping. And if you're slipping, then you know they're straight tripping. Thank you, Tom. So sorry for that. <laughs> but the people were saying that. People saying lots of things. Do you agree with that? I have no idea. I went to get a cup of water. Oh. That, <laughs> that could people seem repeat. to be in the projection for this match saying Valiants weren't on sure footing. Like... Yeah, I think there's an opinion that, that Valiants are a bit out of shape. You know, they lost uh, to BKS the other week quite badly, I've got to say. You know, it wasn't great. Mad Dog going down, by the way. <laughs> Counter-lanced. Oh, wow! Way off in the distance. Uh, Chiel's actually got a nice shot on that horseman out there. Whoever he is, Black. Oh, but Black's coming for retribution. Oh, he got no one, though. He got no one, but he will get away. He will get away, except Calamity's on his tail now. Captain Peasant fighting on the floor, but he's fighting Wily, who is... A beast. And, uh, yes. Angus Burger is still trying to do things, but. No, uh, I'm trying to do a lot. Oh, he's coming to help me. <laughs> oh! Oh my goodness! A jump couch! He likes going for those. That's what he does! I wonder what they're doing when they run behind the infantrymen and jump over them and don't kill anyone because they're couching while they jump and they just miss. But not in that instance. Angus getting a great couch there in the air. Three versus Dude, two, man. Maybe it's, even it's the possible. horse kicked him, you know, just hit him in the face with his hoof as he was jumping to. Insult to injury. A dramatic scene. Oh. oh. Angus finally going down. These fellas better finish this up early, it's almost 4 o'clock. I'm, I'm hoping oh, that yes. Balian doesn't win any more rounds. Black Tide, my European friend, it's 4 in the morning over there. Uh, I should be eating breakfast, I'm starving. I'd like. Folk, com Black Tide's commendable for, for commentating oh, at 4 in the morning and still being lucid. Still being lucid.
That's why he's a king, folk. Not a pauper, not a prince. The man's a king because he can stay strong without sleep. And I'm saying, if Valiant even have heart anymore, they sure as heck don't have the game, but do they have heart? Put some rounds on the board here. Valiant, this is really, really confusing now, because Valiant are rocking the cab setup that they succeeded at in the first round against the setup from WK that they succeeded against. So, in theory, they should be winning these rounds right now. They should be. But, you know, whereas when they were fighting WK before, they were going up against, you know, bamboo spears. <laughs> Now they're going up against fully fledged all pikes <laughs> that will take down any horse that Bowie can throw at them. You've also got the psychological effect that Alien has lost the scrim, they're probably not putting everything into it. But they're, they're playing cautious here. They're still trying, it seems. Because oh, yeah. Every, every not... round counts. It does. And these guys are not putting themselves in a position to get killed early on. They're waiting for the master now. And it's out there on the open field. In this open field. Yes. That's where it spawned. So as you can say, it's spawning in Balian's favor. They might be able to strike the archers. You know, they've already got Scott Ray down, he's probably gonna die. He's on his own. Oh no, no. Ah, uh, yes. Oh. He's still throwing, though. <laughs> he's gonna he's uh, try to take someone down. Oh! Oh, inadvertently! Dude got a man killed on his team because he stalled him out. Oh my god. Not a team kill, but it damn well looked like one. <laughs> And yes, WK, is anyone on the flag? No, WK are gonna get to the flag with little to stop them. Angus Burger coming in. Dude trying to save face. Busting a shield. Not getting a kill though, or even injuring them. Mad Dog is trying to get shots on the flag, trying to focus on the cab in which which his teammates are engaging, but Nah, Yeldon is too slippery and the flag is getting too Well high. protected. Oh. Ooh, nice black taken out Wiley, beautiful. Slipping this is through that O pike. Oh, but Angus goes down. He's able to get back up. Still a fighter, still able to fight. Boobily Bear! <laughs> Moobly Bear, I just want to say his name. Ah, oh, Moobly Bear died. Oh, Oof. Lax in it. Did Mad Dog jump in there? Of course he did, yes. He joined his team. It is a one versus one. It is Gelden versus Black. And the flag goes in WK's Gelden. favor. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yeah, the flag higher. Time went out. Oh, but Again. people leaving the kill, and Gelden gets the money for the last round. Oh my goodness. WK had raised the flag too high that it was out of the contestable range for Valiant to put it back up. Oh, a bit of, a bit of smack talk from Lagstro. kind of Valiant is this? Perhaps expecting a, a, a better fight than he's been given. Well, I haven't seen much of Valiant's perform, but they seem like a capable team. It's just their decision making is questionable. Their build for certain rounds in their. Uh... Oh, you know what it is? That's the word I'm looking for inflexibility. That's flexibility. Inflexibility. Or another word for that being stubbornness. Yes. 
thesaurus will find many synonyms for it, but... <laughs> Are we could be looking at the last round here. Could be the last the... round. Mad Dog trying to arch. I gotta, oh, I wow. gotta, I sympathize with these archers. I mean, I usually don't like archers, but it's pretty hard to hit anything. <laughs> when there are lots of targets so there. Look at Lagstro there, bump and that guy's probably gonna die. He's got a sliver of health left. <laughs> a shield! Completely unafraid! <laughs> Oh, this man's gonna get an arrow to the face. He does not care at all. I kinda hope a, a horseman's just gonna run right by and have him <laughs> topple off those rocks, but we'll see. Oh my god, he's in a wonderful position to watch everything! Just has to swivel on his feet. <laughs> That's all he has to do when he gets view of everything. Oh, Mad Dog, first to die. Harkening back to the beginning of this match. Poor Mad Dog. Uh. Leadership. Oh, well, <laughs> you, got your, uh, you got what you asked for. Oh, he <laughs> did! Goes down. Oh, he tumbled down, look at his legs. <laughs> All haphazard, I missed it, I'm so sad. <laughs> but I see the end result. That's what happens when you get that cocky. You get kicked off your high horse. Or your high plateau, whatever it may be you're standing on. Oh! And oh this goodness. does seem to be the conclusion. The bitter Unix. conclusion for Valiance. And oh down he goes. God, beautiful couch. The blood at the tip of the spear. With that is all push. Valiant blood. So much Valiant blood shed here. GG, gentlemen. GG. Well. Oh. Well, that concludes the match between Valiants versus West Knights. A match that wasn't quite as close as we were all expecting to be. No. Uh, convincing victory for WK, securing their uh, probably securing their semi uh, their finals position really. Well, we still have what five five weeks worth of matches. Yeah, but I wouldn't call that that soon. They they've played quite a few top tier teams and beaten them. GA, uh, Balian just now, TMW. You know the the top contenders. I don't think they fought BKS yet. So uh, they might they might flop on that, but oh yes, they might, GA uh, suffered their only loss under the hands of WK, right? Yep. That does yes. That plus this victory, the West Knights are looking really good. Great performance. Uh, if I had strong to name performance. It, if I had to name an MVP, it would be Gelden. Gelden, yep. The strong performance though after last week's humiliation to TMW, but uh, they they came out fighting. Wily Sly was also pretty good as infantrymen. Oh, strong, were, strong infantry on uh, on Valoran, definitely. There were some good performances, but Balian really need to uh, adapt a little more. Or if it if things ain't working, stop doing it, right? <laughs> <laughs> if it is broken, fix it. And their strategy was a little broken on the first set, and then that carried over to the first, the second set, the first. Uh, I mean the third set. I'm yeah, sorry. they just weren't making things work, and you know you can't really blame <laughs> anyone else than the players. Well, that concludes our stream for the night, folk. I thank you for watching. I thank the teams for a rousing match, and most importantly, I thank His Highness himself, King Blacktide, for staying up so late. From all thank across you, the, the Pacific to join us. Yeah, thank you, Black Tide. It's the Atlantic, but um, if, if you want to take the long way around, that's fine. <laughs> Whatever ocean that separates us. <laughs> well, everyone. Uh, it was my, this... my pleasure, man.
My pleasure too, man. It's good. To, I I spoke to you on the WNL, and it's good to hear from you again here. Um, <laughs> so, that's it for us. Please check the forums, the UNAC threads. Post about stuff. Give your thoughts. And good night. <laughs>